The following podcast is a member of the Pokecasters Network. Pokecasters Network, supporting Pokemon content creators, their shows, and the community of Pokemon fans. To find out more, check out pokecastersnetwork.com or find us on Twitter and Facebook. Then you just hear the hordes of barbarians running at Oh, I was gonna. Go I'm gonna be honest. That actually does fit the theme of what at least this first episode is gonna be. What? <laughs> oh yeah, right. Because there's like an invasion. Hello and welcome to Not A Scratch, the only podcast that believes that Scratch is an overpowered move. I am your host, your GM, your PM, your DM, Anaru himself, and with me here is the swan in the swan song. What? It's me, Mansoor. Uh, and I've got someone with me who is still looking for where Old York is. It's me, Muhammad. Um, I'm actually, like, really dying to go, so if someone could buy me a plane ticket um, to Old York, like Old York specifically, that would be fantastic. So, what's up? Not much, just chilling. All right, so let me tell you about my day. Uh, so I woke up this morning. Yeah, <laughs> uh, no, nah, life's good. Life's good. All right, sweet. Um, yeah, uh, we might as well just open up that old history book. Um, working beautifully, by the way. I, I should point out the book has uh, so many pages, and I'm projecting because I don't actually know if there's work done as of this episode, but um. Yeah, open up that book, turn to page whatever last week was, and uh, anyone want to give a summary? I've heard Mansoor has been doing his studying lately. He's done the past few. I can try to remember. It's been a week, but I can try. Um, uh, back to the good old times. So, <laughs> last week, uh, Ralph and Kyle are still kind of sad. Well, more Ralph is more sad than anything. Kyle's just trying to do his own thing. Um, we reach New Shimmer City. Um... Not knowing if we're in the same train car. I mean, Kyle probably knows, but Ralph doesn't. Um, and then we kind of just go our separate ways. So Ralph takes a, an immediate beeline to the governor's office where he delivers a letter from uh, Carlos Costa. Uh, the governor's like, ah, this is the terrible trio and they're coming to do terrible things. And so we got to deal with it. And then Ralph is like, should I be doing that? And the governor, who's a luxury, was like, no, you can't handle it. I'm going to do it. I was like, what? What? And he just leaves as the door, as the episode ends. Um, and then in Kyle's situation, I believe, I don't remember what Kyle was doing because I was kind of just focused on what Ralph was doing. We literally were talking about this before we started recording the episode, my guy. I'm sorry. Um, Mama, can you help me out here? I'm sorry. Kyle's looking for Pearl. Yes, Kyle's looking for Pearl, who was the person in the legend. Um, Not the person in the legend, but sure. Someone that he heard about in a solo episode. That's that's who Pearl is. And that's what happened. For, for, for the sake of context, Pearl is someone who used to live on Bridie Breeze Island that is rumored to have had a run-in with a legendary girl. Oh. So Kyle's so, so Kyle okay. like, ah, this could be a recruit. Time to replace Ralph. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> okay. Jeez. And that's what happened last episode. I was unaware of that intention, but okay. There, there was not that intention. I'm simply making you. However, comma, I now have an idea. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay. Uh, yeah, we hope that idea goes well. Um, all successes so. to you guys, maybe. Uh, anyway, yeah, this is, uh, I don't know if there's anything else that you guys can think of adding. Um, I'm going to give a, a date check right now. Today is Wednesday, June 23rd. It is approximately 4 p.m. If that is wrong, uh, you will notice that my mic quality changes a little bit. Hey, look, so mic quality has changed. You know what that means. There's an error. So the day of the week is very much wrong. The date may or may not be. To be perfectly honest, the date doesn't really matter in Arc 2. In Arc 3, days of the week and dates become slightly more important. So we eventually pick it up sometime between now and Arc 3. So just keep that in mind. The date is wrong. You can keep track of it on your own if you'd feel like it. Uh, we eventually just sort of retcon it in Arc 3. So just a warning. Hi. Okay, bye. And you'll hear a big cut, probably. But 
Hi, uh, anyway. I'm Anna Root. You may be wondering how I got myself in this situation. <laughs> there it is. Um, what was I? What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, uh, Monsieur, do you want to know whether or not Ralph or Kyle, Ralph and Kyle, were in the same uh, train car or not? Doesn't. Yeah, sure. Was that? Well, you'll you'll find out when the episode comes out. Check school picture. Oh my god. <laughs> You're not letting me have anything easy, are you? Nope. No, it's fine. It's fine. You know what? I'll give you a gift. You can choose any item you want if you can start it before we dive on in. Oops, it's too late. I already said it. Oof. So now that we have Divin, um, you guys want to choose? Who do we start with? Ralph or Kyle? Because... We last we last ended off with Ralph, so I think we should start with Kyle. All right, Kyle. Um, so you have a list of three different suspects, suspects, peoples, interviewees. Um, th- you have three applications to join your organization. Um, uh, who would you like to travel to first? You could travel to the Sabal, the Ampharos, or the Furret. Uh, they are in three different areas, and in fact. I will give you those three areas because the addresses, I think, hypothetically would be on those little cards that uh, the receptionist gave you. So I'd like to think so, considering that's all the information that Kyle could have gotten. Yeah, that would, that, that would kind of be useful. Um, so who would you like to visit first? Uh, well, actually, no, let me... Who, who, was the, uh, who was the first Pokemon again? Uh, so it's Sobble, Ampharos, and Furret. And in fact, I will give you the three addresses for each of them. So uh, Sobble lives uh lives i guess you could say lives in a shop like Sabal owns a shop in the shopping district um amphros is at the very edge of town right by the gates like the and the entrance and exit gates uh and furret lives maybe like a block away from uh city hall and Sabal is what type of pokemon again uh Sabal is water uh it's the starter in sword shield Right. Oh, that yeah, the sniper. Pure water. Pure water. Um, yep. Wait, sorry. Where did you say the ferret lived again? Uh, ferret lives like a block from City Hall, so literally where you are. Well, well, I mean, if the ferret's right there, <laughs> Kyle's not gonna Kyle's not gonna waste time going over to the edge of town and coming back. Efficiency. All right. Cool. It's probably uh, like, so... you're probably looking forward to saying, but okay. Sure. So you and I'm making to... content. Okay. I know that's not the right one. <laughs> well it might be I don't yeah, yeah. anyway uh, so let's uh, let's zoom on into Kyle's location where he reads a piece of paper with three addresses on it um, looks very I don't know, puzzled I guess or just like hey this one's here let's do that one <laughs> efficiency is Kyle's game Kyle looks at the paper just gives like a slight under his breath like hmm just walks over yep uh, so you yeah, you keep walking um, hmm make would perception be Make whatever you think is uh, overhear everyone. What is that? Like, what is overhear everyone? Like, I don't know. I, I I I think it'd be perception. Like overhearing people that are walking by. Oh, that's yeah, that's perception. Yeah, yeah. yeah I can't finagle it into anything else. So, I'm gonna take my minus one L and. Uh... I think it's a history check because I have to remember how to use English. Ah, yes. I have to remember how hearing works. Yeah. <laughs> I rolled a two, but it's minus one. So not a nat one, but I got a one. Okay. Um, you are extremely focused on making sure which building is the right one. So you don't really n- notice anything. You're just like, all right, number 37, 37, 33, 31. Oh, that means I'm going the wrong way. Turns around 33, 35, 37. And you definitely you are... did not know this, um, but like weird coincidence. The house I grew up in was house number 37. <laughs> oh. Guys, it's a sign that Furret is actually the right one. Um, you're going to get doxxed, bro. You're going to get doxxed. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I don't know. I, I if they get doxxed by family. the house number 37, that'll be shocking. I mean, also, my family doesn't live there anymore, so... Yeah, so... <laughs> doxxed. People have their ways. I'm kidding. All right, um, but uh, so you approach 37, and you see, like, a fairly normal house, I guess is the best way to put it. Like, a normal city house. Does that make any sense? I don't know. It's not an apartment. It's like a small house. It's a house. (laughs) Yeah. To put it bluntly, it's a house. I I, I mean, Kyle's going to go up to the door and, you know, knock on the door. Considering it's a house, that's what people do at houses. Not, you know, walk in and 
you know, take whatever's in the house. Oh my god, that was three episodes ago! <laughs> yeah, but you gotta um, think anyway. about it time-wise. It was like two days ago. I, I know. Anyway, um, so door, knock, uh, sure, let's have someone answer. Uh, so, opening the door is a ferret, and may I remind you, ferret are like 36 feet tall. That's not, that's, that's a slight exaggeration, but ferret are very tall. <laughs> Cal's just like looking up, um, excuse me, uh, are, are you Pearl? Oh, yes, sweetie, I am. Um, By the way, they're five foot eleven. Uh, yes, I am, sweetie. Uh, how, how can I help you? Um, uh, I I was wondering uh, if you've ever lived on Brighton Breeze Island. Um, it's an island a, a bit of a ways away from here. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, did you say uh, whiny wheeze? <laughs> oh, no. I, 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 I said, have you ever lived a briny breeze island. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. S- swiney cheese. I, I. I. I'm afraid I don't have any. I said, have you ever lived on briny breeze island? Okay, okay, you don't have to yell about it. Jeez, kids these days. No, I haven't. Now, if you could please leave yourself away. My grandchildren are trying to sleep. Slams the door in your face. Kyle plays. <laughs> Kyle plays. Get off my lawn simulator. <laughs> also, also, you know, like the meme of like Loki going, "Yes, that's how it feels." It's like, well, Ralph doesn't know this is happening, but if you were, that's what he would be feeling right now. It, uh, except fine. Kyle recognizes that what he did was like, oh, I, I could see how that would be, you know, kind of off-putting, kind of kind of rude. I would apologize, but the door is slammed to my face, so I guess I'm gonna turn around and go. Okay. Um, <laughs> that's all I got for you. Um, so, Man, uh, the DM's you know, not going to back the beef. Ah. Uh, no, because the beef is about to get like roasted over an open fire soon. Um, maybe. Uh, anyway, uh, so you, you can take a wild guess and probably say that the ferret is not the individual you were looking for. Probably not. Probably not. Anyway, uh, ferret, not the individual. Uh, so you can go towards the Ampharos the Sobble. I don't know why I went, my voice happened like that, but yeah. The Sobble is uh, in the shop district, and uh, Kyle probably needs to restock and resupply right now anyways, so uh, he's going to head there. All right, uh, you head over to the shopping district, where you see basically all of the same buildings, for convenience sake and for my sake. Uh, you see what you normally see, so. But which one if has a Sobble? That is true, which one has a Sobble? Now... Uh, it's up to you, bud. It's up to me. It's up to you as to where you want to shop. Uh, I will say this. Uh, you shop for your stuff if you have anything before looking for um, Sobble. So if there's anything you want to buy, go ahead and buy it now because I'm... <laughs> because once you buy the Sobble, the plot continues. I'm not. I'm nudging. Um, the, game, the game is being saved right now. Kyle needs to buy some items. So... You know, some general, like, supplies, like, you know, like, to pick up some berries, some apples, you know, you know, that, that, that kind of, that kind of produce, that, those kind of items. Not, like, TMs, not, like, health items, just needs general, like, you know, survival items. Okay, so that sounds like the Kangaskhan shop? Type yeah, place? yeah. Okay, um, good thing you guys did some missions, too, because now you got a bunch of items to choose from, but, as I must say, please roll for what inventory we have today. I'm rolling what a d a d six a one. I think hmm. I have nothing in stock. I think <laughs> I think since, I think I think this is something we can do because it's New Shimmer. It's a big city, so they have a big inventory. So you you can roll two different numbers. So you had a one and a one, not a five. So your two numbers are one and five. Yep. Okay. Let's see what's in stock today. Oh wow! Look at that. There's stuff. Yeah, there's actually solid stuff. Um. What's the easy way to do this? I think the easy way to do this, I'll just take a picture and send it to you, um, because there's a lot of stuff. Hey! My man, my man broke the bank! Hey! Well, there's normally a lot of stuff, but, like, now there's a lot, a lot of stuff. So let me just... Let me just do the entire inventory of every item possible to be purchased in the game. Uh, quick question, are you planning on selling anything? Uh, nah. Okay, good. That makes it easier on me. Um, that, that... That. Also, just reminder that we need to do the egg check, or just 
it's P B cognition of the egg check. I don't know when exactly, but yeah, that's a uh, that's a nighttime thing. So that's that might happen that's I tomorrow know. night. I think. Anyway, uh, in these, the chat, these are all the items. These are what stock it wouldn't stock today. Ignore the roll for store thing. It still randomizes it despite uh, me filtering it out. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so it looks like we have us. Uh, a lot ignore, of ignore the bands. Bands and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm not looking beyond the chest of there. Um, oh, okay. there, is a, there is a used TM if you want to roll that dice again. Ooh. In in the same shop? Ooh, okay. In the same shop. Used TM is here. And there's and... a stick! <laughs> <laughs> Kyle can buy a stick! Hey, hey, stick might be an ultra powerful item. Um, Does either one or two damage? It's ultra powerful. Mm. I think. Does it say the cost? Use, so what if you stick is like a walking stick, and then it like makes you uh, makes long traveling long distances a little bit better. No, stick is the way that Kyle evolves. He has to have a stick. <laughs> Question: Why does a banana cost so much more than an apple? I have no idea. That's just how They're imported from a different country. But they do the same. All right, I guess no one's buying bananas. <laughs> um, I voice crack. Um. I think Kyle's gonna go ahead and buy like three apples, and uh, and I, th I think he's gonna I think he's gonna buy up the UTM again. Why not? Okay, uh, you just to confirm, you do understand the UTM costs fourteen hundred. Okay. Well, 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 well. Kyle's gonna try to buy it. He's gonna take it to the counter. Of course. Ah, I see where this is going. All right. Um. So, what are you going to the uh, the counter with three apples and a UTM? Three apples and a UTM. Yes. All right. Uh, simulator. That's four fifty plus fourteen ten. Kangas gun goes. All right, kid. That'll be uh eighteen sixty for the total. Well, uh, since since I'm buying, you know, since I'm buying a bulk of items right now, uh, would it be possible to to get a discount? I don't know, kid. Go ahead and roll whatever it is you people roll these days. So <laughs> Kyle just pulls a die out of his bag. And rolls. This would be. Yeah, why don't we... <laughs> yeah, kid. Why don't we just play some craps and see who wins? <laughs> <laughs> World series of dice. Yeah. <laughs> if any, if anyone gets that, I love you. Uh. Listen, all I'm gonna say is a persuasion would be a beauty check, and uh... persuasion is cute. Oh, it's cute. Oh. Yeah. So. So it's, so I got an 18. Is what I'm saying. Oh, interesting. That's all I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what you're saying. Um, okay, kid. Let's. Uh, hmm. Dang, this is a deal. All right. Um, so the way that I I've done it in the past is that mixed success would be like ten percent off, and then full success would be that percent off. So you just got eighteen percent off of eighteen sixty, which I'm putting into the calculator is fifteen twenty five. Fifteen twenty five for the lot. Ooh, that's tough. Yeah, that's, more, that's more money than I have in total. Yeah, Kyle doesn't have that type of red yet. Mm. It's been an expensive couple days for Kyle. Um, now, if I were here, maybe I could give you some of my money to pool. Yeah, but you're not, so yeah, you can no, go. Exactly. I, I, I think the governor. I think Kyle... maybe you shouldn't have been so mean to Ralph. That's all I'm saying. I think. I think. Uh, Kyle's just gonna look at the total and say, um, you know, maybe maybe I can't get the uh, the used TM today, but uh, can I still get the apples uh, at this rate? Point. The, the, wait, that, that that completely nullifies the whole bulk purchase argument you had in the first place. I'm buying apples in bulk, my guy. <laughs> yeah, um, he's buying the apples in bulk. Um, so that'll be three seventy. It's three sixty nine. But if you want to be nice like that, then you can go ahead and do so. Otherwise, uh... I have a calculator. I can take three hundred sixty nine bulk A out of my. Uh... Out of my balance. All right, go for it. If you like, to, would you like to give one poke to the uh, <laughs> to the, uh, to the uh, uh, reunite with their mothers? Uh, so that's eight hundred sixty-nine left in Kyle's wallet. After that, and he's three apples rich. That's it. What do you mean that's it? Well, only eight hundred sixty-nine. Yeah, no, Kyle. Kyle's dropped bread these past couple of episodes. Dang, it's All been right. an expensive well, journey. Yeah. All right. Also, we haven't both, gotten any poke from like both any of financially the and emotionally expensive. <laughs> nah, just financially. Anyway, a lot. Um, yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, so you did that. Um, 
Yeah, is that everything that you'd like to get? Yeah, period? No, that's it. I was, right, cool. I was hoping no, for some more useful berries or anything, but... Hello, this is Anaru, the GM, PM, DM of Not A Scratch, and thank you for listening to this episode. As always, future episodes come out on Tuesday, so be sure to follow us, subscribe, and do all those important things that you ought to do when supporting a podcast. If you've enjoyed the episode and want to support us in any way, shape, or form that you can, the best way to do so is to share us with your friends. Share us with somebody you know that's really interested in obsessive dice collecting, because I feel like we all have at least one friend, especially in this community, that's obsessed with dice. Also, leave us a review on your podcasting platform. Reviews help to bring new people into our community and also give us advice on what we can improve on in the future. You can also follow us on Twitter at NotAScratchCast or email us as well at NotAScratchCast at gmail.com if you have any cool ideas you want to add to the podcast or if you just want to reach out to us. We also have a Discord for Not a Scratch and have a bunch of amazing people that have already joined. You can join to help build the Not a Scratch community. The link is in the episode description. We want to thank Glitch X City for the songs Kirby's Dreamland, the Lo-Fi Remix, Black and White Undella Town Remix, Magikarp Festival Remix from Pokémon Tournament, Pokemon Diamond and Pearl Game Corner Remix, and Deoxys Battle Remix. We also want to thank Tabletop Audio for the songs Country Village and Before the Storm. Thanks again for listening. If you want to promote your show in our podcast, we'd love to help. All you have to do is contact us on Twitter or in our Discord, both mentioned previously, and share a promo that we can put in our episode's midsection. Our promo today is actually one we've never done before, so rather than me introducing them, I'll let them introduce themselves. Hey, Scales, is this thing on? Yeah? Okay. Hello, I'm Asher Flinhart, and if you're hearing this, that means you can listen to the World of Gold of Your podcast. You can listen to the podcast on Spotify, Apple, Google Podcasts, and more. The show is me, my five friends, Scales and Plaque the Grieved, OJ the Koboloi, Rhodes the Snow Rangalon, and Ori the Moon Elf. We play a free indie TTRPG called Wildervere, run by the people who write the game and their friends. Watch us travel the magical city-states of our cozy, friendly, and wild world, learning new skills, and enjoying a lot of new adventures in a Saturday morning kind of style. We release every other Wednesday on all major podcast platforms. You can also follow us on Twitter at Wildervere, or on a Discord server you can find at worldofwildervere.card.com. Thank you so much for listening to our travels. Rose is going to flake when we, he hears we have clout? Whatever he called it. Bye-bye! Skills, you can... You can stop now. What do you mean OJ's gone? Alright, uh, back to your regularly scheduled programming. Um, you're looking for a sobble. Uh, pick- you guys generate this for me. Uh, probably because I can't think of anything. Uh, three different stores the sobble will be in, and I'll randomly generate which one it is. Party City. <laughs> that has to be a party city. That a sobble would run? Oh yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> okay. Sobble so Because really, sobble's like- we you know, sobble's the- the first, uh, inc- the first of evolution, right? It's like the starter. Yeah. Yeah, oh. yeah. I was thinking of Drizzle. It's, it's, it's Drizzle boy. Drizzle but Drizzle is like the extra, like, edgy, sad emo, which I thought would be really funny if, like, if we were running a party city. I mean, Sobble's still a sad boy, so. Then, yeah, it's even better. Sobble running a party city. Alright, cool. Like with you. So, Sobble, Sobble's running a, like, a party store, like, with costumes and party hats and balloons and stuff. That, or two other ideas, if you guys would like to generate them. Um. I could see a Sobble running like like a food cart. Okay. Sobble having a food cart. Um, yeah, anyone have one more idea? A bank. Nah, Sobble nah I'm shooting that down. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how. Eh. A pay table. A pay day wonder. <laughs> a what? A pay day wonder. Not a bank. A pay day wonder. A pay day wonder? A pay day lender. Oh, a pay day lender. Okay. You don't know. You don't know about those. No. Oh. I don't know. You know what? You know what those are, right? I think of loan sharks. Yep. 
So I'll come and be, uh, hey, gold yo. For, uh, gold for cash. I'm going to need you to give... Uh, I'll make a good gold for cash. Monster, there's a great Dr. Oliver piece on payday loans. You should watch it. I should, yeah, I should. Um, what about like an arts and crafts story? Really similar to a party story, but okay, I can rock with it. It is, but... Sure. There's, yeah, there's, there's enough of a difference. I can see it. Anyway, although I so, feel like an arts and crafts store has to obligatorily be run, be run I mean, by the difference between like a Michaels and like a Party City. Like those are very different. You know, for all of you that don't know what the Michaels and Party City are, it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, all right, so let's find out which store they're in. They're in that store. Okay, which store would you like to go into? Oh, I have to guess. I mean, you can go into all three, but that'd be wasting time and energy and stuff. I'm gonna guess that you rolled the food cart. So you walk over to a f- the the open food cart, and you see a sobble. <laughs> My guy. Hey. Anyway, so sobble's out here, uh, dealing with the business. I don't know. Maybe hot dogs. It's the first thing I thought of. Don't think about it. Anyway, uh, hot- so they're selling hot dogs or something, and uh, you walk up to sobble, and I assume sobble is, is there. Is, is is this sobble's like name plastered anywhere, like on the cart, or like does it have like a name tag or anything? Sure, I think Sobble would have a name tag. Okay. Um, and it, again, it says Pearl in case uh, that was what you were going for. But yeah. Well, I, I was, I was just, what is my angle of introduction? Um, so I was just gonna go up and be like, um, "Excuse me, uh, you wouldn't have happened to ever have lived in Briny Breeze Island, would you?" Um. Uh. Uh. No. 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 Um. I. 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 I haven't lived in. In, in Briny Breeze uh, Island before I've been I've been I've been I've been, I've been here the, the the whole the, the whole time. Can I make an insight check on this to sure. see to see if I'm being lied to? That's a, that's a, I don't know. Sounds see, like she's being interrogated. Yeah, no, like. Um, yeah, go ahead and roll insight. Insight would be uh, beauty. Tough. Oh! <laughs> Fifteen minus one, fourteen. Um, you can tell that Sabo looks very nervous, uh, which fairly obvious, um, but doesn't seem like they're lying. It just seems like they're extremely nervous, shy, something like that. Gotcha. Um, okay. I mean, if, if, I mean, I mean, if you've never lived there, it's not a problem. I, I just, um, I, I was just over there and a friend asked, a friend asked me to, you know, get in touch with someone and. I was wondering if you might be them, but I guess not. Sorry, no, sorry, no, no, no. sorry if that uh, if that threw you off. No, no, no. It, it, it's 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 okay. It's f- f- fine. All right. Well, um, thank you for your time. Have a nice day. Bye. Yeah. You you you, you too. And, and then with that, Kyle's just gonna walk away because Kyle's already bought apples. He doesn't need food at the food cart. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Um. So yeah, I, cool. So you, uh, you head on off. I assume you're headed to the gates now. To yeah, yeah. All right, cool. So as you head over there, let's uh, shift over to the other character on the show because they need some screen time. Hey, uh, Ralph, where are you as the governor walks out? I'm gonna follow the governor. I want to know what the heck's gonna happen. Like, I need to, I need to watch this. Like a governor that's like, I'm gonna go deal with this myself. Okay, I want to. I need to see this happening. All right, cool. Um, so, uh, ooh, that's an idea. All right. Um, yeah, so the Luxray, uh, the governor heads on out, and, uh, as he walks out the door, you scamper in behind him. Um, the governor goes to the Manetric guards. Uh, one of you two, come with me. The other one stand guard. No meetings, understand? And one of the Manetric guard, they look at each other, and the veteran between the two, uh, nods. And follows behind. So now you are joined by one of the Manetrix. Cool. Three V three. Three V three. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, ask this other this this Manetric that's that's with us. I'm gonna be like, uh, does he do this often? Like does he usually deal with military affairs by himself? Uh Manetric kind of looks at you and nods no. Shakes his head no. Okay. Okay, so this is so is this like a personal thing? Like why is he doesn't he have people that can do this for him? Uh, Manetra kind of looks like looks at you and kind of like, yeah, us, but like me, the other Manetra guy. But clearly, this is needing a personal touch. He doesn't say this. He's just kind of like, well, <laughs> okay. He's doing the whole nonverbal thing, you know, a little taste yeah. of style. 
Right. Well, this one at least acknowledges my existence. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, so you right, guys keep going. start. You guys start heading off. Um, yeah, you guys start heading off, and it looks like you're heading outside. Okay. Anything? Anything? Uh, to, anything in particular to notice, or are we just moving towards wherever the terrible trio is coming from? Uh, sure. You roll a perception as well. Okay. Beauty zero. Six. Okay, you don't really notice a lot. Yeah, you're just kind of following behind, very like, what's going on? I don't yeah. know what's happening. <laughs> I don't know. I've never seen this before. <laughs> just keep yeah. Going. Um, yeah, so as you two continue to walk, you guys, you guys are getting closer and closer to the gates. Um, both of you, I guess, because this is more metagaming stuff. It was four o'clock when you guys started. What time do you think it would be about now? Now that Kyle's done all of this walking around stuff. Started like when we first entered the city, or no, at four o'clock when we started the episode. So, oh, um, I think by the time Kyle's done, been like done walking around, I would say like six or seven. I was gonna say like somewhere between five thirty and six thirty, to be honest. But six, yeah, so six, <laughs> perfect. Times. All right, so it's about six o'clock right now. Um, and so he's checking his notes, he's checking it twice. I don't know the words because I don't celebrate Christmas. Ben, you okay. missed the Christmas episode. You missed it. It's been done. I'm sorry. I guess. I can, anyway. This is going to be um, a recurring joke in every episode we record until Christmas. And the Christmas uh, show isn't going to come out until like that. After week, Christmas. Or like either the week before, like the third, Tuesday before the Tuesday after. So like these jokes are just going to pop up in episodes for like all of January. <laughs> Oh no! Yeah, February of like you missed the Christmas episode, right, guy? Anyway, um, so yeah, you guys are continuing to walk on, uh, walk forward, continuing your pace, and you're heading towards the gates. Okay. What are the, the now? Gates why do I mention? Why do I mention the gates in particular? Yes, that was my question. Dude, come uh, on! Do you not listen at all? <laughs> oh, isn't that where Kyle's headed? And, 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 and as you walk behind two giant electric dogs, uh, you see a green stick walking to the gates. Do I recognize that it's Kyle this time, or do I have to roll for that? Uh, <laughs> make a perception check. <laughs> Got him. Yeah, yeah. Three. <laughs> it's a tree cup. That's all you got. It, am I even going to bother this time? Like, I don't know. Are you going to bother this time? I don't know. <sighs> I'm going to... Kyle I'm gonna know that it's Ralph and I'm walking nudge, past, right? I'm nudge the the the, the Minetra guard and just be like, um, could you you see that trick over there? Could you could you ask him if he's if he's if he's, if he's Kyle? If his name is Kyle. <laughs> um before I do that, Kyle, what are you doing? Because you said something I, I don't know. I was gonna ask, like, does Kyle see them? Yeah, Kyle, you see them. Uh you see a Machop wearing a power band and you're you're fairly certain this is... I mean, I mean, this is Ralph is rocking a power band. Yeah, exactly. And does Kyle know... Does Kyle know that, like, this is the mayor of the city? Or, like, Kyle governor, governor? very official people? That uh, roll, roll, I guess, history would be it? Probably. Yeah, roll history. And Kyle said he probably thinks I'm getting arrested, let's be honest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got a 14. Uh, 14 afterwards? No, 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 14 with bonus. 13 plus 1. Yeah. Okay, um, so you know that Luxray is the governor of the Lux region. Um, fairly big person, generally keeps to himself, does his work, he's, he's uh, more of a diplomat type of character. Mm-hmm. And he is currently walking with a guard and a machop outside of the gates, so make of that what you will. Huh. Does the manager walk up to him and ask him if he's Kyle? Uh, depends on what Kyle does. I, well, I think Kyle would, like, kind of make a mental note of this as like well because kyle knows that they were supposed to deliver the note to that ralph was supposed to deliver the note to the governor correct and kyle knows that carlo said it was like something of like super like 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 of utmost like you know security importance yes huh i think kyle would probably put his current search on hold and just go up to the governor and like kind of like you know, like, like approach the governor and like, you know, approach the governor and figure out, all right, like, let me just make sure that everything's under control here. Let me make sure that everything's being taken care of. Okay. If that's the case, Manetric is not going to go up to 
Kyle, because Kyle is going up to the Minetric. Um, by the way, uh, Ralph now understands that this is Kyle, because okay. Kyle's walking directly towards you guys. Um, uh, so Kyle, anyway, uh, are you, you're going straight to the governor? To the governor, yeah. Alright, so you walk over to the governor. Governor looks very serious as they continue to walk on the gate, barely even notices you. Well, Kyle, like, as he approaches, is gonna, like, pull out his badge or hold up his badge to the, uh, to the, to the governor. Yeah, okay, um, so you pull out your badge, uh, governor stops for a little bit, looks at you, and then kind of, like, motions you to follow him and the, the party that is increasingly growing. Um, Kyle's, like, gonna, well, yeah, I think Kyle's picking up the cue of, like, it's under control, but, you know, back up is nice, so... Kyle's gonna put his badge away and just follow. Sure. Uh, the the governor, as you guys are now walking in a in a four a group of four, um, kind of like is talking to you in particular as he goes. So, uh, you with him? Points at Ralph. <laughs> Kyle Kyle's gonna like <laughs> look over, look back, and just kind of give a like like a, like a, like a little hand like so so kind of kind of motion. <laughs> <laughs> it's progress. It's progress. Yeah, it's not zero anymore. Um, anyway, uh, and the governor goes, Okay, so we've got a, a situation here. Um, we're dealing with, uh, a trio of people. Foulest criminals known to mankind. Pokemon kind. Whatever kind. It's a, it's a dark place that they live in. And, uh, my guard here and I are gonna stop them. Um, put it bluntly, I don't want your help. Not because I don't think you can assist, but, uh, I don't think you'd be able to handle their levels. Kyle, like, Kyle's gonna give, like, not, like, Kyle's gonna, like, mask, like, the offense that he's taking. Like, like Kyle is taking offense to that statement, but he's, he's gonna, like, he's gonna mask Why it. Why are you offense to that? You're, like, level 10! And he's just gonna give a look of, like, alright, fair, fair enough. Um, and he's just gonna ask, uh, so, uh, you, uh, do you, do you want, do you want my backup here, or, uh, should I just, uh, check in with now you once, uh... So here's the game plan. Uh, my guard and I are gonna go over there and take care of them. If on the rare but impossible, but potentially possible, uh, situation where we don't make it out, I need you to go back and tell the other guard to put the city on lockdown. Oh. Oh, stick. And, uh, Kyle's just gonna nod and go, uh, uh, should, um, should Carlos be, uh, Looped in on any communication on this? Tell the guard to send in my... Tell the guard... Nah, words. Tell the guard to send a Pelipper mail. If that ends up being the situation. Hopefully we won't need it. You hear a crack as he, like, cracks his neck. But, uh, we'll see about this. Kyle's just gonna oh, give, man. like, a very curt nod. Just, like, understood. <laughs> oh, man. And you guys continue to walk. Uh, you're slowly approaching the actual gates. Um... Both of you make perception checks with advantages at this point. Bum, bum, bum. 19. I don't think it matters what I get for the other one. This is a 7, so 19. We've got 7 and 17. Alright, so both of you guys have full successes. Um, you now understand what exactly lockdown means. This city is... Everyone's gone inside. People are like gathering their things. Businesses are closing. People are rushing to their homes. There are more security people out more um, police officer, more growler. Police if you state. Go with that. Police state. <laughs> police state. They're going on like complete lockdown in fear of the trio, effectively. Yeah, it's a, it's effectively a military curfew, basically. Um, as sorry, as you approach the uh, as you approach the gate, you see uh, you remember when coming inside, there was maybe like one guard. Kind of just like motioning people to go through, doing occasional checks to make sure that everything's on the up and up. There are now six guards. Whoa! I'll assume that we saw like the guards like coming in, like from like the train. We saw what the entrance to the city looks like. I'm assuming that's the case. Because so you came train. in from the train station. So the train station's like in already inside the city. Like you came through. Like it came into the middle of the city. So you're in a different gate. Like this is like the walking entrance. Yeah, yeah, but we didn't see what the walking entrance. Oh, was yeah, yeah. Before. You saw like one security guard at the station, like yeah, checking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so there are now six guards at the front gates, uh, all a different type of Pokemon. Um, yeah, I'm on they... <laughs> What? Uh, no, the, the Growlithe comment still stands. Oh. But <laughs> there is a Growlithe there, if that means anything. But there are other Pokemon as well. Um, 
Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. But, um, so anyway, uh, uh, one of them turns around, looks at the governor, nods, and then put motion step for everyone to step aside. And the four of you head out of the city now. Clip, clop, clip, clop. I can't do, like, walking noises, so that's the best I got. <laughs> do trotting noises. I got, I got trotting noises for... For horses. Two... To, for two bipedal and two non bipedal quadrupedal quadrupedal I don't, I don't know yeah anyway so you you just hear absolute silence at this point of just the four of you walking away from the city heading down a route continuing to move and you continue to walk forward moving step by step and then lux ray stops it's up to you guys if you're gonna stop or continue walking. I'm gonna stop with with them. We'll yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that goes without saying. Okay, uh, all all three of you then stop, and Luxray just kind of like blinks a little bit, and then opens its eyes wide, and you see that its eyes have now changed color. They're much more like blue. What? And He's going Luxray super is like, <laughs> uh, Luxray is now scanning, uh, basically like the plains and the trees and stuff like that with its X-ray vision that it does have. So Luxray is just scanning everything at this point. Closes its eyes, opens them wide through its normal eyes. They're here. And then you hear a loud noise. This loud noise being like a crash, a kaboom, a... A roar. Oh! Nice. You hear the... You hear a roar as three Pokemon slowly approach over the horizon. Uh, you see on the ground a Pyroar. You see sort of floating-ish a tentacruel, and in the sky you see an Aerodactyl. Oh, yeah, they already mentioned what Pokemon it was. Where. I don't know why yeah. I'm surprised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, Aerodactyl can... sounds familiar. <laughs> and as they approach, you notice a gold ring on each of their foreheads. <gasps> I know that's the reaction you wanted it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had to make that And that's where we will end this episode. Wait, was the gold ring... Hold on. Was the gold ring... Is that really... That is related to, like... That's the only thing related to. <laughs> yeah, that's literally that's literally the identifying like symbol of like the bad guys. Yes. Okay. Yes. Come on. Keep. Keep. And it's the keep same. Up. It's the same. It's the same keep bad up. guys as like the recruits of the lost bad guys, like the ones that we're also trying to. Yep. There we go. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Doc I connecting. I. I. <laughs> yes. I, I'm a little slow with connecting the dots, but I. I, I got it. That's what you get for waking up at three in the afternoon. I'm tired! <laughs> Whose fault is that? Okay. It's mine. Anyway, uh, that's where we will end this episode today. Next time we will see a bunch of gods battle each other and a Ralph and a Kyle looking very nervous. Um, oh. Until then, <laughs> until then, I have been your PM, your DM, your GM, and Rue himself. I've been Mansour playing Ralph. And I've been Mohammed playing Kyle. Oh, voice crack. And until next time, take care. <laughs>、Hi. Welcome to、uh, the Christmas episode, where we're going to discuss、uh, what Christmas is like in uh, in uh, the Pokemon world. So let's start it off.、Uh, I think they don't do it. What about you guys? Yeah, sure. Wait, what did you what did you say? Do you think? And that, and that ends Christmas our Christmas episode. episode. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm so confused. What? <laughs> don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We just had we just had a fantastic moment. There's your intro for this episode,、oh、or God, for the, or for whatever episode releases in December. There's your intro.、Yeah. <laughs> I'm so confused. What oh, was, that was I, fantastic! I zoned out for like ten seconds and I missed comedy. You zoned out for ten seconds and me and Andre just hopped on the same wavelength. Oh, oh, oh my god! So you'll you'll、uh, find out. You'll find out. Anyway,、uh, I'm ready. Yeah, I keep saying I'm ready. Yeah, I don't, I don't ready. think like, this Pokemon world has Christmas because if they if if they did, then that would mean they, that you already missed it. The Christmas episode's over. No, but that would mean that that would mean that there was a you、Pokemon. already missed it. The Christmas episode's over. No, listen, that would mean that there would be a Pokemon Jesus, which can you not? That would mean that there would be a Pokemon Jesus, which、uh, would okay, be really controversial.、Fair. Wow! I clapped so close to the mic that, like, the air from my clapping went into the mic. That was fun.